Hi everybody, this is uh, Eric Clark's travel videos again and I'm here in uh, Split, uh, Croatia and I'm uh, standing in front of the, I guess it's the catacombs or the crypt underneath the, the um, cathedral and this is where they filmed, where the dragons were kept, where Daenerys Ty, whatever her name is, Tigerian, um, locked up her dragons. Remember when they ate something or ate the sheep or whatever and she locked them up and then she came down here and they were huge and pissed off. This is where that's at. Okay, so I'm gonna get started and I will uh, do a video once inside. Thanks for everybody. Okay, so um, the language is always a, an issue. But, uh, this is the literature they give you <laughs> and they, they tell me three times, just follow the line, follow the line. So, okay, well, I guess you start here and this is where you pay. And so I'm standing like right in here. One, two, three columns, one, two, three columns. Okay, so then I'm gonna go this way through this thing and then come back and go to the other side. And this is the substructure is what they called it. And uh, here's just some basic information on it. And it is um, not something we can read anyway. Is this side something we can read? This side is. Okay, cool. Okay. So anyway, so this is this. So and here's the ticket. It was uh, forty-five to get in, and this is this place again. This is where Daenerys Tywin, or what's her name, Daenerys Tyrion, kept her dragons. And so. This holds up the city. So right above us is the cathedral. I went there the other day, remember, as well as the um, Jupiter's temple. Um, that's all of this. And so this is where they uh, lock up the dragons. Pretty slick, it's pretty big. And the arches are pretty amazing and everything else. So, huh. Cool. I guess I should have left out the map so I knew where to go, huh? <laughs> There's a map right there. All right, good. So I don't know where they filmed this at, but it looks pretty familiar. You know what I mean? It looks like this is where they, they probably had it dark and the guys probably all walked in. And, and then uh, did their thing. some literature and some information. We always love information. Again, you started here. I'm walking in here. I'm standing in this corner right now. And I'm gonna go into this section and then through all these little sections and come out. Um, that's that, here it is. There's a whole bunch of information. So this is a, um, the Palace of Split has been listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Monument in 1979. Um, and again, this place was built back in 3 AD. So we're talking, you know, back in the 300s maybe. Um, but uh, there's all that stuff. Uh, you can pause it and zoom in if you need to read any of it. But for all the people that do the reading, I wonder what's this way. Yeah, I guess we'll go up this way and see what we get, huh? locked so there's nothing this way a big stair what did she call her dragons spot Ooh -boo. thick the walls are. I mean, that gives you an indication. That's probably what, here's my hand. So we're talking probably four feet, maybe. Huge. What does this say? This says, beams of wood discovered under the floor level obstructure, substructures of the palace. Huh. 
interesting. What's this one say? Sphinx. A broken Sphinx. That's right, the guy was telling us that uh, the king, or whatever the guy's name was, um, Dacilians, Dacilians, he loved Egypt, and so all the columns are from Egypt in his palace and temple. And everything else, well, that looks Egyptian there. What does it say? Sarcophagus, the, find, the finding originates from the area of the palace, and it was possibly used for secondary purposes period, the middle of the 4th century and on. So that tells you that it's pretty old. So 4th century is like 300. Yeah, it's a huge area, actually. Huh. Check that out. Well, that was filled at one time, and then the drips or water are leaking through over 2,000 years ends up uh, eroding the stuff. They have a bathroom, even. That's amazing. Cool. But it's a big area. Check this out. I mean, let me turn around here. And I bet there were beams up in there that connected both sides. So there was probably, you know, another floor here that went to that door maybe down there in the end. So think about this. So imagine a beam going from here over to that first one and then a floor running along that whole level. Just to maximize living space. And maybe there's smoke maybe or fires. I don't know. Interesting. What's in here? Ooh. Yeah. Wow. Please do not sit here. What does this say over here? This says parts of stone pipes from the ancient sewage system. 295 to 305 AD, and this is that guy, Di Diocletian's period, Diocletian's period. And then the crypt, pretty amazing. That gives you a good idea, that looks kind of like, uh, that shows you how big the areas are. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. All right, well, I'm gonna go read these and then I'll, uh, I'll get back and uh, we'll go to the other side. <laughs> Very cool. Okay. Okay. This is the other half, everybody. Huh. This is... Huh. Oh, so these are all rooms. I guess I'm not going in there. <laughs> this one I can go in. Yeah, it looks like they're just all rooms. Big, big, big rooms. And again, like I said, boards going across so that they could build multiple levels. levels. You know, I don't know. They might even have three levels. It's pretty big, pretty big space. Huh, interesting. Same thing in here too. And like I showed you in the other area, they had those big huge timbers that uh, are over there. Wow, look at this. Some kind of, and then it's solid. Some kind of sarcophagus. Wow, amazing. Neat. I guess we 
not going there. It's certainly a big area. You can see how big those people are in front of that doorway. But it looks like this side goes outside, maybe. Wow. This is the same kind of thing. You can probably see a roof line up there at one point. And probably the same thing. Another piece is going across this way to columns here. Huh. Wow. I'll come back to this side. What's this way? Oops. All right. Pigeon. I guess being open to the outside. And leaks. Huh, okay. Where does this one go? You know, it's always an adventure. Wow, old stones they took out here at one time. I bet they were all columns or Looks like a column over there, a round one. Hmm. Oh yeah, brr. Gate of the palace. Hmm. Interesting. Again, these walls are enormous. Good four feet, probably. At least some of them are. Some of them look even bigger. Even that archway looks about four feet thick, probably. Wow. the palace right up there. I stood right up there and looked over this and I didn't know what it was. And now I do. So this is probably a good two stories, three stories, 30 feet maybe. The blocks are probably two feet each maybe. I don't know, that's probably pretty tall. Four stories maybe? Yeah, maybe three. Look how much that thing holds. It holds that whole building. So there's this upper part and this big beam. Yeah, it looks like it's just a big solid beam all the way across. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, very cool. where I started. All right. Hey, thanks for coming with me, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed seeing uh, the substructure of uh, the Diaceline Palace, <laughs> the cathedral and such. And you know, I never get the names right. Anyway, that's it, everybody. Let me see if there's a sign. It's not uh, only visitors with tickets. That's me. By entrance to that area, and there's two sides. There's the left side, which is the bigger area where the dragon part is, and there's the right side. But what I find interesting is, is the center part. There's the doors, which is pretty slick, and the tours. Oh. But this part's interesting. So they have this old ancient thing that was built in the third century. 296 or whatever it was, and then they <laughs> they fill the insides with uh, tourist trinkets and shopping stuff and all sorts.
sorts of stuff. But that's not what I find interesting. I mean, I, yeah, that's kind of, kind of hokey. I guess you're kind of forced through here. But what I find amazing about this is where you come out. So you'll go through this incredible sub-street, sub-system, um, and you see all the tunnels and all the things and the areas and the incredibleness. And then you go through the, <laughs> the shopping zone, and then you take these stairs up, and you come out at... Where do you think you come out at? You guessed it. Right in the main square. So when you come here, and you get to this main square, all you have to know is that's the way to the temple, to Jupiter's temple. That's the way to the cathedral, and that's the way to the subsystem. And this is the main square where they do all the stuff. Outstanding, everybody. And you know, another thing too that's interesting while I'm here, <laughs> it's always something, huh? It's all open. You know, in a lot of places, Rome, Paris, um, you know, God, there's so many places. It's all roped off. It's all, you can't get to it. But here, they put cushions out and the local bars and local restaurants um, cater right to you. So if I sit down here, that guy over there is going to come over here and ask me if I want a soda or a beer or something. Um, they let kids play. They climb all over their stuff. It's, it's, it's just uh, <laughs> a free-for-all all over these things. And they, I guess they feel that it's, you know, it, and it's what, the most well-preserved place? But even with kids playing all over everything, it's still the most well-preserved place. So, anyway... It's certainly, uh, certainly amazing and uh, worth coming and seeing. And there's old ruins and stuff too. And those are the columns that he stole from Egypt, but it's a nice big square. All right, I'll stop you. I can keep this one a little shorter than uh, 100 hours. Bye everybody, take care. Subscribe.